Excellency for accepting our invitation and hosting us uh, for this briefing. We are in uh, constant contact with ICRC, uh, the, the Red Cross. <laughs> the other day I met the new president and uh, we discussed, uh, among other things, the question of the uh, prisoners of war. We have, uh, I think, five or six uh, visits of the ICRC previously. Uh, of the Ukrainian prisoners of war held in, uh, in Russia. So we are working on this. On uh, creating a special mechanism of repertoire on human rights. We told the Red Cross uh, that we will continue cooperating with them on this. But you must imagine that uh, we have more than 6,000 Ukrainian prisoners. And uh, sometimes it's not possible to organize all visits. Ukrainians have less. Either abstain or voted against or did not. What the ICRC wants is uh, security for these visits. Sometimes it's not, uh, it's not easy to provide that sort of security uh, because the shelling uh, is continuing and specifically the shelling of the area of Alenivka, where this uh, facility is located, uh, have led to highly important uh, understanding. Our counterparts in the Red Cross, they understand. They still uh, believe that uh, they can do this. They will do this in the future. And uh, the only thing we need is just to discuss the practical uh, uh, arrangements for this visit uh, from the point of view of security, first of all. Human rights, instead using the human rights...